Hey guys, it's Basis Sims, and we are back with more Lover Pretend, continuing Rico's route. Of course we are. This is no surprise. Anyway, we're just gonna chug along. When I came to my senses, I was already in the cab Riku had hailed for us. Are you okay, Spacey? Uh, sorry that took you by surprise. Oh, sorry. Uh, that took you by surprise, didn't it? Yeah, okay, I'm not gonna lie. I forgot what the fuck happens. But, right, we got attacked by paparazzi. And we're like, <laughs> he doesn't love us! I mean, not a shock. It shouldn't be a shock, but, like, you know, she was hoping, and we know. Oh, Yes, I'm all right. Thanks for covering for me. I managed to stop trembling, but Rico's eyebrows knit as he frowned. I should have been more aware. The fact that they were able to push us that far means they've been on the lookout for a while. I didn't notice at all. I quietly exhaled. Then I took a deep breath. Um, Rico? Hmm? Why didn't you lie when they asked about our relationship? Like that time with Sena... Well, Sina is nosy, but I knew from our time at camp together that he's not the kind of person to go blabbing about people's private lives. Using the lie on those reporters would have been too much. More importantly, it would have inconvenienced you. Inconvenienced me? I was happy to hear that he was protecting me, and I knew he was only thinking about me. But I couldn't help remembering his expression when he denied having romantic feelings... I knew he said that for my sake, yet I wasn't in any position to think that way in the first place. I'm just playing a role for him. I couldn't get my hopes up, but I couldn't stop myself. Even if it was only pretend, I wanted to believe. These emotions were hypocritical, but I... Just a little bit. Just a tiny bit. I closed my eyes and let myself hope deep in my heart. But... Reality wasn't that kind. And don't worry, I won't let them bother you. I'll protect you as a friend, I promise. My face scrunched up involuntarily, and Riku looked at me with confusion. It's sad because, like, before you didn't even get along. You were, he was like, we're just two random people, let's just pretend and whatever, and now he actually thinks of you as his friend, which is kind of sweet, and we should be really happy about that. But it is the, I've fallen in love with him, and oh shit. And he's just like, we're friends! And you're like, oh, That punch. But again, he's a robot. It's gonna take him longer to come to terms with his feelings. And even if he was feeling start or getting or aware, like, I think I have room. He's not gonna be like, oh, yeah, it's okay, but I'm truly, totally in love with you. Because he, he's gonna just be like, he's gonna be aware of the fact that Oh, yeah, I said we weren't going to fall for each other, so we're just friends. Sure. Good. I also think that I just, that he might have these budding feelings, but I don't think he really knows what they are. And he's not, or like, even if there's an inkling, it's like, nope. And you're like, yeah, but you look, no, I don't. Like, you know, he's kind of in denial about it. And that's the phrase I was thinking of, but I couldn't, it couldn't work in my brain. Like words and brain didn't want to, you know. I can't brain right now. Jesus. Anyway. Spacey? Oh, yes. Sorry. Thank you very much. Protect me. As a friend. That should have been more than enough. I knew not to wish for any more, yet... And yet... What was I gonna do about this pain in my chest? It's you're like, okay, I just have a pain in my chest. I'm sure it's anxiety. <laughs> After that, Rico and the taxi dropped me off near my home and we parted ways. I hope I sounded okay when I said goodbye. I managed to collect myself during the ride, but the sinking feeling I, I had never went away. The more aware I was of my feelings, the more his face came to mind and helplessness welled within me. If the plan went well, Rico would leave to study abroad after he graduated. Oh, I know that's that. I forgot about that. If I can just tell him how I feel, that time never... If that time ever comes, then that would be the that would be the day Riku's plan succeeded, and we'd have to say goodbye. And then here's the thing: even if you're in love with him and your plan to, you know, whatever, 
and you can't muster it up, wait until you know he's about to leave and then just be like, look, I know you're leaving and I'm not trying to make you stay because obviously I know you're not going to, but I just want you to know that I love you. So like, if you go away and you come back and maybe this could work, sure, let me know. Otherwise, maybe I'll move on. Who knows? Okay, you know, I <laughs> be a little more eloquent than that. But you know, I mean, that's when you tell him because you're like, I don't have to worry about accidentally running into you anymore. Bye. See you in five years. Oh, God. I'm really hoping that the good ending is like, just like um, Makino's good ending. Like, not the best ending. I mean, the good one. You know, where like, he goes away and comes back. I want five years later, Riku. <laughs> anyway. Oh, we are not getting the ending in this part. It'll probably maybe be the next part, depending on how long this chapter is, but this is the last one. The next day, thanks to Riku, the photo with my face never went public. Of course, our run-in with the press made it into a gossip magazine. But since Riku and his agency denied the allegations, they limited the article to Riku being a college student. When I asked Professor Sagi about it, he said the article hadn't caused any problems and everything was going smoothly. It's gone viral, so I'm sure Riku is having a hard time even going to school. The article didn't state the name, but from the context, it was easy to guess which college they were referring to. I want to talk to him, but I don't know if that's okay right now. Maybe sh I should at least call him on Ring. I mean, yeah. Just as I was considering that, he calls you. Oh, hey. Oh, no caller ID. My phone rang. When I looked to check, it said it was from an unknown number. Who is this? Oh my god, it's his dad! I hesitated for a moment, then tapped the answer button. Hello? Is this Mr. Wa- Oh my god, it is! <laughs> it's his dad! Alright, well, whatever. Is this Mr. Ueda? This is Kosuke N Nishijima, Riku Nishijima's father. My son's currently at his apartment. Would you be able to meet him there now? I'm sure I needn't explain why. I felt the pressure behind his words, even through the phone, and took a deep breath. Understood. I'll be there. Riku's father said I'll be waiting and hung up. All that was left was the electronic call end whale. My god, does he get a sprite? How hot do you think Riku's daddy? <laughs> I mean, he's a movie star. I'm like, come on. The robotic high-pitched sound made me grip my phone even tighter. Time. This is the moment I need to be there for Riku. As his father, and then you still are questioning that his dad, I guess she's given up on that. She's like, I'm totally in love with him. And then, but he's, and then, oh, and then he's your brother. Wait for that realization. I mean, we know he's not, but like, see game, you ruin, you ruin it a little. When we get to this point and you're like, well, I know damn well Rico's not going to be our half brother, but like. Shit, man, if that were, like, actually on the table and we actually believed it was possible, it'd be like, I love Riku. Oh, my God, wait, he's my brother. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. And there'd just be, it'd be kind of fun, you know? That anxiety. <laughs> of the inevitable incest route, but, you know. Nah, she just forgot. She's not even concerned at this point. All right. As his accomplice and his fiance. From here on out, I'll be the lover and fiance who swore to spend my life with him. <laughs> I'd be someone who understood him and supported his dreams more than anyone else. And someone who loves him more than anyone. Easily play that. Okay, so I'm assuming. Well, the weird thing is. Oh, okay. Well, guide. What the hell? I didn't realize, okay, we have to create a save file. I thought it was before a normal choice, but it looks like a pretend time because it doesn't have the pretend time bar across the top. Anyway, come in. Riku welcomed me, but even though he didn't say anything else, his displeasure was written all over his face. I can't wait. Sorry for intruding. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait. I stepped into the living room and steeled my nerves. There he was. It's like adult re I you know what I love the fact that this man's probably like 
not even 40 or he's like 40 something. And like, they make him seriously like, you didn't have to put all the lines and everything. Like they do that. They're like, once you hit 40, you're basically dead. Like the man's still fine though. Look at that suit. I like the suit, but like, you know what I mean? Like, why is it like, look at Hanai. He doesn't look old. Does he? Nah, but they made Nishijima's dad. Like, look as old as Makino's dad. But Makino's dad gives you the air that he's older. But like, well, I don't know. Maybe Riku's dad was like older when he had him. Huh? Maybe he's in his 50s. But like, look at Hanai. Like, thank you, game, for making a 40-year-old not look dead. <laughs> Dear God. I've been waiting. I'm glad you made it here safely. I don't remember the voice we gave him two seconds ago. Osuke Nishijima, 49. Okay, he's almost 50. Actor. I've totally missed the last part, because, like, whatever. Doesn't matter. You can rewind and pause. In front of me stood the shining lead actor who'd starred in countless tragic love stories, like the one my mom wrote. Osuke Nishijima. He was also Riku's father. Osuke Nishijima looked at me grimly, then threw down the magazine he was holding with a loud thud. I heard about this article from Riku. It's not written in there, but the two of you are dating, aren't you? Yes, we are. He even said that you're engaged and he plans to marry you after he graduates. Is that correct? He looks so mad at us! This impossible dad! We know he's not our dad, but come on. Yes, I plan to marry Riku after he graduates. Huh. You say that as if it were nothing. Seems you don't understand Riku at all if you can say that so easily. That's not... You are the one who doesn't understand, Dad. Who? No. She sees the real me and understands how I feel. You are the one who doesn't know me at all. Riku glared at his father, but Mr. Nishijima just shook his head in exasperation. <laughs> and now his dad looks at... Uh, you know what the funny thing is? Like, Riku, you're almost an exact clone of your dad. Like, except for your hair's all supposedly a little bit lighter. I know it's probably not supposed to be blue, but it's blue. His hair is blue. Let's be real. That's the shade that they used. They were going for the it's black, but we gave it the blue hint, but they basically colored it with blue. Come on. <laughs> but like, yeah, even your eyes are basically the same. Like, damn. Did, did that man just splice himself? Like, Riku, you don't seem to understand yourself. Or you don't seem to understand yourself? Like, you're saying Riku doesn't understand himself? Because I feel like that's the douchiest thing anyone could say to you. Like, why are the dads all dickheads? Makino at least, you know, realized he was wrong. But, like, what the hell? Like, this is like, you don't understand yourself. I know you. No, as a person, I know me better than you know me. And nothing pisses me off more than people telling me that they know me better than I know myself. Unless it's in the, I know you better than you know yourself. And like, but like when it's that condescending, like, oh no, you're not like that. You need to do that. Excuse me, go fuck yourself. I know what I want and I know what I don't want. Like, don't. You don't know me. You don't understand me at all, dad. Anyway, Rico, you don't seem to understand yourself. Don't let temporary feelings get in the way. You have talent. After all the hard work I put into making you an actor, you're just going to throw it all away. I don't plan to stop right away. I'm gonna finish director Makino's film, but after that... No. Damn. No? What do you mean by that? You promised not to schedule me for anything after shooting began for director Makino's film in January. <gasps> I can't... I can't do a long sentence in Riku's voice and angry. I just got wind of a good offer. A classic detective TV drama written and directed by some of the biggest names in the field. You know what's really annoying? Because I'm going to guess it's because Riku works for his father's agency that they're taking a cut. You know what I mean? Like your manager and your agents and all those things. They get percentages because they're helping you get gigs. They're, it's like me as his assistant. He's paying me. They're doing a service, you know? So dad's making money off his son. And that's exactly why he wants Riku to keep doing it, because now, um, yeah, don't get me wrong, there's still plenty of roles out there for 
sexy older men actors, but probably not as many as like sexy 20 something year olds. You know what I'm saying? Like there's going to be, they're different roles and you know, and he's basically whoring his son out. Dude, 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 that's so much worse. I mean, I feel like that was kind of like the consensus there the whole time, but it's just like, I wasn't really thinking about that. You know what I mean? It's like, my dad just doesn't want me to quit. And it's like, <laughs> didn't really stop and go, but like, why? Oh, yeah, he's making money off you. And it makes him, he's getting some celebrity off of the fact that, I mean, he's got his own celebrity, but it keeps going. Like, even when he retires, like, oh, yeah, my son, right? Oh, yeah, I know. Look what I did. Look at my progeny. You know what I mean? Like, you're living vicariously through your child, and that's some fucked up shit, man. Look, even Makino's only douchebag trait was being like, I'm gonna throw out all your anime shit. How dare you? He wasn't trying to live vicariously through Makino. You know what I mean? Anyway. If you play the lead role, lead role, you'll get good reviews. And if the first season goes well, they're considering making it into a series. How could I turn down an offer like that? How could I turn down an offer like that? Because it's not your life. Damn, daddy's a douche. Hey, douche dad. You promised me. You're just trying to weasel yourself into the into a role in it too, aren't you? Enough already. Riku, I couldn't bear to see his shoulders trembling with anger, so I gently touched his arm. Good grief, why can't you understand? I'm just trying to get you the recognition you deserve and feed off of it. The recognition I deserve? That's right. Much more than what an empty-headed screenwriter could get you, anyway. What? How dare you? We're getting a pretend time really soon, so... I would think? I would assume we would have the pretend time with his dad? You know what I mean? But... I don't know. Maybe not. Don't you dare insult her! Apologize now! Ooh, Riku! Oh! Sweetie, if all the light switches weren't on already, that would have just turned the rest of them on. You know what? I'm gonna install more lights so you can turn on more switches. Jesus. I don't see any reason to apologize. You have the potential to win the Best Actor Award in the near future, yet you're letting some woman sway you right in front of me? And I'm a little plain. I'm kind of adorable, but I'm not even, like, sexy gorgeous. I'm just kind of cute. So, like, in your face, bitch. <laughs> Granted, I mean, Riku's it's fake, but whatever. What if she had those photos taken so she could leak them? Spacey's not like that. She'd never do something so manipulative. Riku's angry and defending me. Mr. Nishijima wasn't the slightest bit perturbed by his son's rage. Really, because he looks kind of mad. Instead, he sighed as if he were tired of listening to it. I've told you at least a dozen times before to keep your cool, Riku. Is there any merit to dating and marrying her? There isn't, is there? Like, love is... What the shit? <laughs> this guy's a douche! But for her... If she marries you, that's all she needs to get her name out there. She'll use you to rise in the industry. I mean, okay. Dad being wary about these types of things, not necessarily wrong. Okay? Just being like, you need to be careful who you trust because there are going to be people who use you for your money, your status, your name, and all that stuff. So valid. However, you don't know me to make that assumption. What the shit? You know? You're still a dick for thinking it, but like, I mean... You're wrong. I never even considered that. Can't believe he's saying all this. Is he really Riku's father? I struggled to remain composed amid the mixture of emotions battling within me. I really care about Riku. If that's true, then have you watched all his films? He has a quite a 
quite a few as a child actor, too. If you've seen them all and can still say the same thing, then I'll be willing to listen to you. Why? I don't care about his movies. So what is it? Are you going to tell me that you've seen all of Riku's work? It's... glared at me so sharply that I looked down at the floor, lost for words. I... haven't seen all of them, but... Okay, isn't that a weird thing? Like, oh, you're really in love with him? Have you seen all of his work? Yes. Oh, gold digger! I just have a feeling this was never going to work out for us in this question, you know. Have you seen all his work? No. Oh, well then you don't understand. What does that have to do with anything? You could love a celebrity. I love Tom Hiddleston. Do you think I've seen everything he's done? No. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, you know, I don't see every single... Oh, this part... Oh, I, I'm gonna... You know what I mean? Like... That just came out a jumble of bullshit, didn't it? But I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't necessarily, even your favorite actor, actress, or whatever, you don't always see every single thing that they've done. You know what I mean? Some people might, sure, but not everyone does that, so this is weird. That's what I thought. You don't understand the depth of his talent at all. You know what say? But if I said I had, he'd have gone for the gold digger thing. Guaranteed! You don't understand the depths of his talent. I don't have to see all of his movies to understand the depth of his talent. I can understand some. That's how you can say such irresponsible things to my face, as if you hadn't a care. Spacey, you don't have to listen to him. Don't worry about it. But I was mumbling and my voice was trembling. Do I really not know anything about Riku? talent his life up until now i know none of that which is true but like still just because he has talent this uh, this is what's annoying about his dad you don't understand his, the depth of his talent and we're over here like you're right i don't well that does i mean her point i don't understand his life up until now and all of those things sure the life up until now part is you know gonna go into her head about well, but I'm in love with him, but I don't understand all the stuff about him, so I need to know these things about him. Sure. But it doesn't matter whether you've seen all of his movies or not, and it doesn't under matter if you understand fully the depth of his talent or you just kind of know on the surface level. It doesn't fucking matter because Riku doesn't want to do this. You know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't matter how much talent you have. You know, I could have a real fucking talent for playing basketball. Doesn't mean I'm fucking active and I want to do it. You know what I mean? I have a talent for presenting. I hate doing that. I'm not going to make a career out of it. You know? And like Riku has a talent for acting, but he wasn't ever given a choice. You know what I mean? And, like, it's one thing if, like, okay, you get your kid into acting because they're really good at it and whatnot, and then they grow up and then they're like, I don't want to do this anymore. Okay, cool, sweetie. What do you want to do? You know what I mean? That's what you should be doing. But no, I was like, no, but you're good, so you're going to keep doing it and make me money. Like, his dad's horrible. And, like, now your child is in his 20s and is like, no, this isn't what I want to do. And you're like, too bad. And we're over here like, this isn't what he wants to do. You don't understand how talented he is. So you don't have a say in this. Well, you shouldn't have a fucking say in this either, dumb fuck. What the hell? Riku, I'm sorry, but I think we're going to need to kill your dad. And then, like, hide the body parts around the country. Fine. We'll make it work. You've probably played a murderer in some kind of TV show. I'm going to need you to get into the role of a serial killer, Riku. Let's go. But just... We're only going to kill your dad. We're not going to just make sure you know how to come out. What's the safe word to break you? <laughs> what the shit? As uh, someone working on the same thing as me, your first concern was about the movie. You had absolutely no interest in me outside of the job. Am I wrong? I, I suddenly recalled the past and everything around me became muffled. Who... I really don't. After talking to you, I finally understand, Dad. You only think about yourself. I'll tell you now. There's no way I'm taking that role. 
Let's go, Spacey. Oh. Hey! Wait, Riku! I'm not done talking to you yet! Riku! He just left- he just left his own house! He's like, fuck you, I'm out. I'm not even gonna try to make you leave. Completely ignoring his father, Riku took me to the front entrance. Who? It's fine. Riku, we're not done! We're not done. Yes, we fucking are! Oh, look, we're gonna go to the same place! And we went with Makino. And we can cool our heads out here. I nodded at Riku, and we sat down together on a bench a little way away. After a moment of tense silence, Riku closed his eyes and exhaled, a pain expression on his face. I'm sorry you had to see that. It's not your fault, Riku. It wasn't his fault at all. Not even close. I know, his dad's a fucking douche. On the contrary, it might be Mr. Nishijima's doing. I bit my lip, the memory of the conversation coming back, and Riku turned to face me. What he... What my dad said earlier... All of it was just to get me to continue acting, so don't worry about it. The way he speaks like he knows everything... Really is a selfish man. Considering the fact that... He won't- he doesn't care about your dreams, he only cares about the money you're bringing in as an actor. It's one thing for a parent, especially when you're a younger kid, and you're like, Nah, I'm gonna quit- Nah, I don't want to do this to be like, let- think about it. And like, to guide you into making smart decisions. You know what I mean? Like, I quit fucking everything I did as a kid. And... I kind of wish I hadn't. I kind of wish my parents had forced me to keep up some kind of freaking after-school hobby, like ice skating or freaking Girl Scouts or whatever. Honestly, I wouldn't have been into the Girl Scouts, but like ice skating or something. But they probably let me quit because like I was the third kid. So like, who gives a shit at that point? <laughs> my mom brought me my baby book. Look, there's some things in there. I'm like, oh yeah, there's like three pages and the rest of it's empty. <laughs> My oldest sister, everything's filled out. There's everything in there. I'm like, so at least you wrote my name in the book. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, by the time, like, your first kid, everything is present. And then the second one, you're like, oh, okay, it's kind of happening. And then by the third one and after, you're like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> it's just, it's just a fact of life. That's just the way it is, okay? But, like, you know, it was probably like, oh, whatever, fine. And also, I whined a lot as a child, so I'm sure my parents just didn't want to fucking listen to him. I was like, fine, I just don't want to listen to her whine anymore. Because I was a whiny, obnoxious child. So, you know, whatever. So I get it, but at the same time, you're like... I also wouldn't want to be like... I don't want I to do ice skating. I hate it. It sucks. And be like, no, you're gonna do it because I want you to. You know what I mean? Like... I think it's important to, like, help your kids make those decisions. Like, hey, I don't want to do this hobby anymore. Okay, well, we've paid up through the month, so you're going to continue for the month. And think about it. And if you still don't want to do it after the month, then that's fine. Cool, we'll quit. But, you know, I mean, you know, whatever. Because who knows? Maybe they'll find something else. Or in this, Riku decides he doesn't want to act like... You can sit there, and as a child, maybe you didn't want to do it, because kids are assholes. It's just, you know what I mean? Like, it's your job as a parent to guide them, but now, as a fucking adult, if he says he doesn't want to do it, you shut your fucking mouth and you let him do what he wants. Like, it's one thing if this was an impetuous decision, he was just like, you know what, I don't want to act. I want to paint. And you're like, I'm going to need you to actually think about that logically. And I, I'm going to need to, we're going to have to have a discussion about this. You know what I mean? At his age, what is he like, 25 now? Whatever. Like, at his age, he should be able to, to, like, do whatever he wants. And it's not your choice. But I understand if I all of a sudden was like, I'm just going to quit my job. And I'm going to sell leggings online on Facebook. I'm pretty sure my mother would have me committed. But you know what I mean? They'd be like, um. I would expect someone around me to be like, I'm going to need you to think about this and let's talk about this and let's like work out through why that's a dumbass idea. Fair. But you know, like the fact that Rico's like, I want to go to college and his father's like, Ugh. and he basically had to force his father to let him do it. 
And then his father forcing so many jobs on Like, Rico doesn't even have his choice of jobs. It's not like his father's like, hey, here's all these jobs I think you'd be good for. And then Rico's like, ooh, I want to do this one. No, he's told what he has to do. And that's some fucked up shit. Like, nah, your dad isn't trying to guide you and trying to help you make good decisions and worried about you. Your dad's only caring about himself and what's going to make him look good and the money you're bringing in for him and his sorry ass. Like, if you want that job so much, go do it yourself or you're not good enough. I wonder if that's it, too. Like, oh, he's a great actor, but he's not as good as Riku. So he's living vicariously through Riku because he can't compete with Riku. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, Riku will get this job and I'll get the money off of it and then whatever. You're, like, living in your son's shadow, stealing some of that shine off of him because you're not skilled enough to go out there and do the roles you're signing him up for. Granted, I mean, there's different calls for people in their 20s and people that are almost 50. But, like, still, you know what I'm saying? If it was a role, like, where they were like, we don't actually care about the age of the person. Riku would act circles around his father, I have a feeling. So I think there's a lot of jealousy going on there. I'm just going to say that, whether that comes out as truth or not. I'm just going with it. Because I feel like you're there and you know. You're like, yeah, mm -hmm, yeah. We don't like Riku's dad. He sucks. Good thing he's not our dead, too. You have to realize, she has to realize, like, well, that's definitely not my father, because there was no way my mother would have had sex with that douchebag. <laughs> anyway. He's a good talker. He gets his way by making trouble for others. And that's why everyone on set keeps him at arm's length. Oh, wow, he sucks. He's one of, that's why he can't get jobs either. Nobody wants to work with him. But... Besides, Spacey, you really do know. I'm not too sure anymore. What? I'm not too sure if what your dad said was wrong. <gasps> How dare you agree with that douchebag? I mean, again, fairly being like, uh, it's true, I don't know you that well. And you do have an amazing talent. But again, it's not about the talent he has. This is not the society we live in. If this were some weird futuristic society where, like, half the world's gone to shit and it's like, well, you're good at acting, so that's what you have to be. Too bad. So sad. You know what I mean? But, like, the people have choices. We're allowed to make choices. Spacey, shut up and let him make his choice. What do you mean by that? His expression stiffened all of a sudden, and I couldn't bear to look at him. Even after all the time we've spent together, I'm not sure I truly know anything about you, Riku. You know the real things about him. All I know are the things like your favorite food and your little quirks. That's all. There you go. That's a lot. But you were always working diligently as an actor, even when you wanted to quit. And all the staff and your co-stars adore you. What if this really is your calling, Riku? But it's not what he wants. Spacey... Riku sounded bewildered, and I closed my eyes tightly, blocking out his expression. Sorry, I'm not sure if I can face you right now. Is that what you think after what happened? Do you believe him more than me? Right there. Do you believe my father knows me and what I want out of my life better than I know me and what I want out of my life? That's... Not true, but I don't know how to put these feelings into words see oh you just broke his heart what the fuck girl i thought you might be the only one who could understand me sorry oh no he's apologizing to us for us being a jackass girl fix this but i know now riku stood up and then hey spacey The moment I looked up, <gasps> he just fucking kissed me. I wasn't expecting that. I'm going to cry. Stop it. I mean, there's really not much to see on the CG aside. You know what I mean? Like, you can barely see. All you see is hair. But, like, still, it's like, like huh, he just kisses me out of nowhere. I didn't see that coming. I was wondering. I'm like, do we? are we going to have, like, a nice moment where we kiss or something here? But, like, then he was like, oh. 
don't know. Like, just that whole moment, you're like, oh, ouch, we hurt him so much, and now he just kisses me. <gasps> Riku, stop. I want to cry, it's so sad. <laughs> like, we hurt you so much and you're still gonna kiss me, you bastard, I love you. Huh? Why? It wasn't a hard kiss, nor was it a simple graze. His lips were overlapping mine. That's usually what happens when you kiss. It was like he was trying to convey some sort of feeling to me through his kiss. Um, that he loves you? Dude, I'm... Who? I... Not long after we made our agreement... Don't do anything weird without my permission. I'm calling off the engagement on the spot! He knew, and yet... He'd kissed me once before. Back then, it was just my cheek. It wasn't anything serious, more like a joke. This time, why did he kiss me on the lips? Look at his sweet, beautiful face! No, stop it! <laughs> God damn it, stop! I guess this cancels our engagement, huh? Wait! I'm sorry about everything. And thanks for going along with my ridiculous idea. No, no way. Grab him, grab his fucking collar. Come to think of it, you've told me before that I act contradictory. You're right. And this plan was reckless. I'm putting a stranger between me and my father. The moment I relied on someone else, I failed. It wasn't true. It was wrong. I didn't want Riku to make an expression like that. Thank you for everything. Spacey, I think the time I've spent with you has been the most fun I've ever had. Stop it, girls! Say something! Don't let him leave! Riku slowly and carefully peeled himself away from me. No, he goes now, it's all over. And then the time finally came. Riku smiled at me and then took a step back. Girl, stop him. Goodbye. Quietly muttered his farewell and turned to leave. Girl, what the fuck? Stop him! What are you doing? I want to stop him. I want to cling to him and keep him from leaving. I wish she'd turn and look at me just once more. Open your fucking mouth. Oh my god, I'm so mad at her right now. I know it's like we gotta have some drama and like whatever, but like, girl! But I couldn't. All my thoughts and jumbled feelings turned into tears and fell down my cheeks. This is all your own fault. If he leaves now, it's truly over. Goodbye, and he walks away. And then instead of saying anything and stopping him, you just sit there like an asshole. Oh, you deserve this. You don't deserve that man. Because you should fucking open your mouth. I don't want this to be goodbye. I still hadn't done anything for him yet. I couldn't support him at all, and I was still clinging to my feelings for him. Is this how things end? I was swayed by Mr. Nishijima's words, and that alone made me feel less confident that I could support him. Feelings for him really this weak? Tears continued to fall and began dripping on the band I wore on my ring finger. I removed it, but the tears continued unceasingly. Believable. Is this how painful it is to fall in love with someone? Yeah, when they walk away and you don't stop them. Everyone gets their heart broken multiple times, but I don't get how they're okay. Just once is enough to make me feel so shattered. Not okay. I wonder if my mom went through something painful like this too. Yet, even after all that, she always smiled so happily at me. What about me? I... Would I be okay? No, because you're an asshole and you didn't run after that man. Would I regret leaving things like this? Yes! The truth was that I already knew. The hot tears on my cheeks were my answer. Okay. I still didn't really know much about Riku's life as an actor. Starting now, I was going to learn about him. I'd get to know him better and understand him as an actor as well. Um, no, just, okay. What are you, I'm going to watch all of his movies and then understand that... No, you had the man right in front of you. Oh, dear God, this is so dumb. Okay, this is... Okay. This could be the thing that pisses me off in this, this route. Instead of stopping him. I mean, I get sometimes you're just, like, frozen. But instead of, like, going after him or saying, I'll just watch all of his movies and understand... Just go talk to the man. Jesus. And be like, look, I don't understand everything about you, but I want to. Let's 
start over. Not really. Let's... But you know more about him than just watching his fucking movies. Yeah, sure, you don't maybe know every little thing about him as an actor, but you know more things about him as an actual person than anybody else does. So, like, what the shit? This makes no fucking sense. More than that, I should support Riku's real dream. Yeah, that's what you were fucking supposed to be doing this whole time! Maybe it was true that no one understood how great an actor Riku was better than Mr. Nishijima. But I, on the other hand, knew just how serious he was about chasing his dreams, and yet you let him walk away. I know how much he loves the stage and stage design. He loves to create things above all else. I knew how enthusiastically his hands would work. He couldn't have cared less about the sweat dripping down his face. The way his eyes glowed when he discussed the future, and the way his expression softened when he talked about his dreams. I hope this is you realizing that you know more about him than you think you do. So that you realize you're being a dumb fuck. And then you go chase him, because then I'll be okay. I was the only one who knew them all. How he forgets to eat and then collapses, and how he's actually a little bit childish. Couldn't help it. I loved Riku as he was. All the different sides of him I'd seen so far drifted through my mind. Suddenly, the tears that, be that had been running down my cheeks turned to laughter. All is said and done. I still want to support him. No one in the world knows just how wonderful he is better than me. I decided not to waver anymore. I wouldn't be shaken. Even though this love began with a lie, it was real. Yeah, so, like, go after the man. There's no- this is not- we need a grand plan. This is- you need to text him and be like, listen, I need to talk to you. That day, I went home and watched all kinds of films and shows Rico had starred in. This- you don't need to do this! Just go after him! Oh my god, this is so stupid. I even rewatched those I'd already seen. Even though a lot of them were no longer available, from his start as a child actor to his adult years, there were just so many. Rico was pretty cute when he was a kid. Despite his childlike aura, his acting matched that of an adult. Even in the behind-the-scenes cuts, when the director would speak to him harshly, Riku would simply nod at them maturely. When he returned to acting after graduating high school, he became a first-rate actor who could play both heroic and villainous roles. All this time I've heard people talk about what a genius he is. And after seeing his work, I saw the life he'd paved for himself as an actor. I understood it now. This whole time, regardless of his talent, Riku has been desperately working to meet what was expected of him. I was glad I knew that now. I was really glad I'd seen it with my own eyes. I don't understand the need to watch every single one of his movies to under- You already knew this. This isn't new. This isn't new information for us. And like, you don't have to watch every single one of his movies to comprehend this. We already knew this. And like... You and all the other things that you, that realization sitting there on that park bench, all those things about him, those are more important than, oh, he's always just done what's expected of him in acting and he is good at it. Yeah, great. We knew that, but that's not important. Not as important as the other things, because the other things are the real Riku. That's what's important. That's what you know better than anyone else. So why are we like, I'm going to spend weeks learning and then go, oh, dear God, you're so dumb. This is so dumb. Just chase the man down. Seeing the sight of him makes me love him even more. In the end, I still wanted to support Riku. I mean, why... It, you... Why... I, I... I love this route except for this. Because I don't like that you're like, maybe your dad's right. Because I haven't seen all your movies, so maybe this is what you should be doing. Nothing that his father said should have swayed you to be like, wait, like... You know, in like the, oh my god, your dad gaslit me into believing that he was right. Nothing he said was like, like that. You know what I mean? I mean, I get you could say, I haven't seen all those movies, but I don't think that makes a difference. We're not that stupid. So like, throwing this conflict in that we're like, I don't know, maybe your dad's right. I'm sorry, no. And then you then not chasing him down and then you're gonna like I'm gonna understand what you're like as an actor and then I still gonna support you doing what you were what we were already doing what why why you couldn't have figured out anything else to sprinkle into the route to make it the length it needed to be aside from this because this is the thing that pisses me off I you know what I love this game but I hate 
that like they let Tim or Ronald write fucking shit for this. And they just were like, yeah, okay, we'll shove it in and it makes no motherfucking sense. It's the worst. Because this doesn't make any sense. Ugh. It's like I want to let it go, but I'm just so mad about it. <laughs> it's so stupid. Together, we would, par uh, we would persuade his father. Just as I renewed my resolve. Riku? My phone suddenly rang. I looked at the screen, but it was a number I didn't recognize. Who could it be at a time like this? Maybe... Well, either way, I should answer. nah -huh, I don't answer phones when I don't know who it is. My pulse quickened as I tapped the answer button. It's gonna be his dad. Hello, this is Ue... Is Riku there? Huh? I'm asking you if Riku is there. Is he? Or is he not? Oh, he's not. Did something happen? Why are you being such a dick? More than that, it's gone missing. Missing? Yes. Ever since the day we met at his place, he hasn't answered a single call. It's that day. You mean it's been a whole week now? Right, and I still need to respond about... I still need to respond about this new role. That's what you're worried about? Your son hasn't called you back? He's missing and he hasn't answered me about this role, that bastard. He could be dead, dude! Be a little more concerned! He's more mad that Riku's not answering him than he is than, like, worried. What a fucking dick, girl. Why did you ever think for half a second this fucking punk bitch was ever right about anything? This whole manufactured, like, little argument with Riku and I is bullshit. Because, like, this man's a douche. They would have announced his role in director Makino's film by now, too. There's no way I can keep them waiting like this. <sighs> You're not lying about him not being there, are you? No, I'm not. I mean, I haven't even seen him since we went our separate ways that day. Then where is he? You were his assistant, right? You've no idea where he might be right now. That's... The time I spent with Riku as his assistant and his fiance. I thought back on it all. A place he loved going to came to mind. Maybe he called Kazuma and the others. I'll look for him, too. If I find anything, I'll let you know immediately. Yeah, do that. Ugh, what a mess. It's been scandal-free so long, and now he's getting mixed up in something so trivial. I'm so disappointed in him. I'm disappointed in you, sir! I knew he was being selfish when he wanted to go to college. Should have said no. What? Selfish? The way he spat his words, it pierced me as if I'd been shot, and something in me suddenly snapped. Selfish? How is something like that selfish? I mean, technically. If you want to really break it down. Going to college and learning and enhancing your life is selfish because it's something you're doing for yourself. Which... It's not a bad thing, though. It's okay to be selfish, okay? There are times where you are like, I'm going to eat all the food on the island and everybody else is going to starve. That makes you a dick, okay? We're all starving here. We're on a deserted island. You don't eat all the coconuts, Ginger. What the shit? You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to go to college and better myself. That's not, that's, you're doing something, doing something for yourself and thinking about yourself at the root level, is selfish. But depending on the situation, that's totally fucking applicable. Okay? And I'm sorry, but I think it's more selfish that Daddy Dearest over here is like, God, he wasn't thinking about me at all. Excuse me. I hate that argument about shit. It's so selfish that you did this and you didn't think about how the rest of us would feel. Who's being selfish now there? Hot kettle, stones in your glass house. What's... What? Nah. Uh, simmer down, bitch. You know what I mean? I mean, thinking about yourself and wanting to better yourself is human nature, though. So, like, not really selfish, but at the root level, selfish thinking about yourself and doing things for yourself and not for, quote-unquote, everyone. Going to college benefits nobody but you, really. I mean, I guess in the scheme of things, depending on what you decide to do, if you went to be a doctor, you are going to end up bettering other people's lives. So, sure. But you still went and did something for yourself. You know what I mean? But the only reason Riku's father thinks it's selfish is because I told Riku he's going to be an actor. And then he stupidly wants to go and go to college, which is so late. Like, 
because his father is so fucking selfish that Riku doing anything for himself is selfish to him because Riku should be there to service and in service to his own father. That's a fucking... Listen! Daddy understands really well what selfish is, but doesn't recognize that he himself is the king of selfish. That motherfucker's got a big-ass crown. <sighs> the feelings came bursting out. Selfish is exactly what it was. I think about Riku's well-being. That's just what you think, Mr. Nishijima. Riku only wants to do what he loves. It's his life. Yet you say that it's selfish of him to do the things he wants to? Exactly. Stage design might not be as glamorous as being an actor, and there might not be as many chances to distinguish yourself, but set designers are just as essential to performances as actors are. I'm sure Riku is anxious about quitting a job he's done his whole life and challenging himself with something new. And in the end, he could quit and run away. That's why he's going to extremes to convince you. His father. To me, he's just rebelling against me by straying down a different path. If that were the case, then he would have just quit being an actor and left. Riku hates causing trouble, including trying to argue with you. Don't you think so? As his father, you should at least know what kind of a person he is, shouldn't you? Please. This is about Riku's life, so before he gives up on you... Please consider him more and don't just push your own feelings onto him. This is really where we... Oh god, I was gonna throw back in his face. What the hell did he say that we should just... Oh, and I just slipped as I was reading the lines and I was like, THIS! THROW THIS IN HIS FACE! And then we... And then I forgot, but anyway. Pushing my feelings onto him? Me? The stern voice sent a chill down my spine. I didn't say anything wrong, though. Huh. Sure know how to talk back to superiors, huh? Yeah, no. Um, elders, maybe, but you're not superior to me, bitch. You really think you can persuade people by appealing to their emotions? You're just like him. That might be true, but... Sorry, but that won't work on me. Your way of persuading people is clumsy and ignorant. No way! But Riku is... He's truly... However... Huh? I think I understand why he chose you now. You do? It was rash of me to assume you were trying to take advantage of him by leaking information for a publicity stunt. Sorry. <gasps> Did you just apologize to me? Alright then, call me as soon as you find out anything about my idiot son. Oh, okay, I'll be sure to... Before he could finish, he'd already ended the call. He apologized. He acknowledged he was wrong. That means he thought it over and realized I'm not that kind of person? I <laughs> like how she's like, I, what's happening? Though I was still in shock from Mr. Nishijima's apology, pulled myself together and picked up my phone again. First, I'll try calling Riku. <laughs> I got no response from calling or from Ring. I tried calling Kazuma and the others, but none of them had talked to Riku lately. Maybe he's at home or at school. My imagination conjured an image of him collapsed from hunger or exhaustion. Anyway, I'll try his place next. I th you think his father wouldn't have gone there? Feeling a sense of dread creeping up within me, I rushed out of my house. Don't you think his father would have gone to his house? He would have at least knocked on the door and then tried calling him, and so Riku would have his phone on silent or off, because otherwise then, like, knock, 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 calls you. I can hear your phone ringing in your house, asshole! You know? Riku, are you home? Riku, I'm coming in! He's just in a heap. I mean, the man probably hasn't eaten in a week, so... There was no reply, so I went in anyway. He wasn't on the sofa where, we'd, where he would always lie down. There's no sign he's been here at all. Both the table and the bed were totally clean and untouched. Tell me he hasn't been home all week. Is he perhaps at the art department's studio? What if he's collapsed? If the I felt the blood drain from my face and I rushed as fast as I could to the school. <sighs> Just like my previous visit, there were no signs of anyone being there. What do I do if he's not here? just sleeping behind the props. Succumbing to my anxiety, I dashed to the secluded corridor 
Rico was always in and... Someone's collapsed there! The person was dirty and his hair was messy. Riku! I rushed him and picked him up by his shoulders. Riku! Riku! Not opening his eyes, he's, then he screams because he was just taking a nap. <laughs> and it's snoring! He's literally just sleeping. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll forgive the stupidity of, like, our little argument with him and believing his dad in any of that if we just, like, oh my god! And he's like, what? What shit? I was just, I was taking a nap. And he was literally just taking a nap, curled up on the floor like an idiot. Oh, god. Anyway, he's snoring. Is he sleeping? Seeing his blissful face, my body instantly relaxed. All right. All right. I'm still, like, don't get me wrong. I still think our agreeing with his dad and that whole running was stupid. But you know what? If you wanted us to have, like, a little thing and, then, like, you know, to get to here, sure. But, so he could just be sleeping and we panic, because that's just, what an asshole. Jeez. Somehow it always ends up like this. At least being let on. But now, I missed even those moments. The memories made me smile with joy. This idiot. Stop making me worry all the time. As if he were responding to my voice, his eyelids moved slightly. He slowly opened his eyes. Huh? Spacey, why are you here? Why? Your father called me since he hadn't heard from you in a week. I was worried, so I came looking for you. A week? It's already been that long? Jesus Christ, <laughs> He's an idiot, but I love him. Yes. Have you been here this whole time? Yeah, I've been making things. Remember when I told you there was something I wanted to make? That reminds me. <sniffs> mm, it's going fine. I thought of something I wanted to make, so I'm drawing up a blueprint right now. I love the fact that he just lost all track of time for a fucking week. What were you eating, Riku? Because you would be dead if you didn't eat it all. He's like, I had a pile of bananas and a gallon of milk. I'm good. Well, yeah. The person I went with gave me a lot of their impressions, and it inspired me. It's something for us. For me? Oh my god. You've been working on that this whole time? Yeah, and I just finished it a little while ago. Come here for a minute. Riku got up, took my hand, and began walking. You notice there's none of that, like, he was just like, okay, goodbye. And then we come running, and he's like, oh, hey, what's up? Anyway, look at this! Aww. Wait, where are we? The next door is a small theater for students. All right, we'll see what his big art project is. We're almost at time, but like, it's okay. When we reached the next building, Riku flipped a light switch in the pitch dark room. And there before me, oh my God, show me. Okay, that looks exactly like the stage from the play that we saw. So like Riku just that's i feel like this is like you're copying man this is plagiarism this is and this is the backdrop of the musical we saw together it was so subtle and delicate and i was so moved i wanted to make it myself okay at least he acknowledges the plagiarism it's more like i kind of want to i get it like you're like oh i saw this thing and i want to try to make it you know what i mean but this looks exactly like it because it literally is the same but you know all right, all right, I get it. It's kind of like if you see someone like, oh, they made, they drew this picture, and you're like, I want to draw that too! And like, but your art's always going to look different. This just looks exactly like he literally copied their homework. And it, I don't mean he, I mean like he literally went and made a photocopy and tried to pass it off. <laughs> uh. What do you think? I was speechless. I couldn't even answer him. Instead, I kept nodding over and over. Amazing. It's exactly like the backdrop from the musical. Beautiful. Truly beautiful. I know I made you worry, but it did save me the trouble of calling you. You were going to call me? I looked at him in surprise, and he lowered his gaze and nodded. Oh, he's not mad at me. You said you liked that backdrop too, right, Spacey? And also, I thought that if I finished it, it would give us a chance to talk one more time. <laughs> Riku, 
I don't want us to talk one more time. I want us to talk forever. Miku. I'm sorry. That day... The day you met my father, I ended up leaving you at the park. It's not your fault. I said something really stupid. And seeing you get hurt by my father's words made me realize just how reckless I'd been for forcing you to go along with my plan. I thought I should end it there and not involve you anymore. I needed to stop this madness and set you free. Really? I thought it was because I said something stupid. Like, maybe your father is right. It's like the dumbest thing that I've ever said. But words alone aren't enough to say goodbye. I wanted our last moments to be a beautiful memory. And then I went and did that. Who? As he dropped his gaze to the floor, his long bangs covered his face. But I knew as soon as I left you, immediately after, I... I don't want my time with you to be just a memory, Spacey. I really mean that. I don't want it to be either. Say it. I didn't see his face, but I was sure his expression was pained from remembering that moment. You really thought that? This whole time we were separated? While I listened to him, I felt like his pain merged with my own, and my feelings began to overflow. Oh my god, I'm gonna die! Okay, you know what? I was really mad about this whole, like, moment that we had, but, like, okay, like, fine. I misunderstood what was happening there. I don't know if that was just me being dumb, or, like, it was a little confusing, because we're like, maybe your dad's right, and then he's like, alright, bye. Maybe we're both idiots. I don't know, but you know what? Okay, we're here, and this is lovely... Fine. Fine. I'm sorry I was so mad about it, game. But seriously, don't let Tim and Ronald write scenarios. Do better. The whole time I was away from you, I thought the same thing. Girl, say that shit out loud! I am gonna get mad at her not saying shit out loud, though. I hated the idea of never seeing him again. I hated the idea of it ending like that. Of ending it like that, sorry. Who felt the same way? Hold his hand. I didn't think this would happen when we, when we first started this plan. It was just supposed to be lip service to persuade my father. And that was all it was supposed to be. I don't hate being an actor, but if I don't do this, my father will be dependent on me and I'll never get to live my own life. So I asked you to pretend to be my fiancé. I thought if I said and did the right things, it would go well, even if you were put out. That was until I fell in love with you. Oh! Stop it! Love? I looked up at him as I repeated the word back, and Riku forced a laugh, embarrassed. Look, he's blushing in his shaggy, stupid hair. Oh, and his goofy ass overalls. Why they always have to have one arm out of the overalls? What is that? Why is that a thing? And he finally looked up at me with a smile, looking at you, Impy. <laughs> they often say fall in love in movies and TV and stuff, but I had no idea you can actually fall in love like that. I mean, to be honest, I was worried about asking you to be my fiancé. You're quick to overreact, and you put up high walls. Well, that's because... <laughs> Halfway through, I was so amused by how embarrassed you'd get that I ended up teasing you. But when you weren't acting like my fiancé, you were surprisingly frank and so natural, I felt at ease around you. But when I was with you, I didn't need to act like anyone else just be myself. Oh! That's why we love you, you weird little robot! And ever since I started to think that way, no matter what I did or heard, it always filled my thoughts. God damn, that's romantic! Chest hurts! Now that I think about it, I must have been jealous Sena took you to the amusement park. I told you! What did I fucking tell you? He's like, I don't know, and it's like, ah! He figured it out. Yay! You put the pieces together! You were jealous? When I looked at him in surprise, he... Sorry. He pouted as if he were sulking. I said we would go for like, and now it's like five minutes later. Okay. Why are you looking at me like that? I didn't believe it at first, but it really is the truth. Really? Because, unlike me, Sina doesn't have a contract. You can laugh with him whenever you want. Your hand... Hold it. Oh, hold hands whenever you feel like it. And when I thought about it like that, a fake title and a fake ring felt like an empty bond. It really felt that way. Did he call me that night because he was ruminating all that, on all that? But, you know, 
And that's what made me think. I don't want my relationship with you to end with a lie, Spacey. His eyes were fixed on me. His gaze didn't waver one bit. He stared straight at me. Spacey, I love you. Do I? Who loved me? I'd given up on those words long ago. What, like, a week ago? I kept telling myself to hide my feelings and give up because I thought he'd hate me for it. Now I finally heard it from him. He... I should be happy, but... My overflowing emotions kept me silent. I stared at Riku as I tried to catch my breath and work up the courage to speak. I mean, especially after the man pours out his heart and soul like this and you're just like... And he's like, God damn, when I left, you didn't call me? Like, girl, you're giving him all the wrong signals. Open your mouth. Go. You're so unfair. Am I? Yes, you are. You just do anything you want, and it's so unfair. I love you too, Riku. Not for a long, long time now. Thank God. He's like, what now? You told me I shouldn't fall in love with you. I held back, but I still fell for you. I was suffering for so long. And yet, I still loved you. You're such a meanie. I'll never forgive you. Riku stared at me in shock as I began to cry. <laughs> it's one of those, like, why are you mad at him for being in love with you? But it's, like, all those turbulent emotions, and then you're just like, I don't understand why I'm crying. I just am okay. Like, stop. Just leave me alone. <laughs> I'm happy right now. <laughs> Girl, are you PMSing? <laughs> and I wipe my tears away. <laughs> then let me make it up to you. Make it up to me? Oh god, we're getting a kiss ECG again. Yeah. Riku smiled at me, so soft and tender as if all his doubts had been cleared. Give me a sex ECG. His smile reassured me of his feelings, as did his touch as he gently grasped my left hand. He then swept the tears from my face. Ah, oh, stop it. Spacey, um, please go out with me and marry me someday. Well, damn. He smiled at me, never once looking away, as he waited for my answer. He was being so earnest and straightforward. Marriage, huh? What, don't like men with unstable incomes? Um, I'm still a bit anxious, but I'm sure we can work something out. Thank goodness. I'll make sure to help you save 500 yen coins. Thank you for- That's not the point! Why are you being so realistic all of a sudden? Now the confession is ruined. But it's important to plan for the future, right? I mean, that's true, but... Then we should discuss it properly. I want to be able to support you, Spacey. And I want you to support me, too. Forever and ever. Aw. Oh, fair. You're using your actor mode. And at a time like this, too. <laughs> I wasn't acting, though. I guess I still want to look cool even at times like this. Jeez. I looked up at Riku, and he still had his easygoing attitude. He's so charming. And his expression was completely different from how it was when he was acting. He's best when he's just being himself. You look like you're about to cry again. What's wrong? Because you keep saying things that surprise me. <laughs> when you scold me like that, kind of makes me want to kiss you. Can I? You already know the answer anyway. I'm not acting anymore, so I can finally be myself, too. Yeah, then... Oh, CG, 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 come on! Riku gently extended his hand to pull me close. If we don't get a CG right now, I'm going to be so mad. He brushed the nape of my neck and slowly began caressing it. Hell yeah. Oh! He's holding my head, I love that. So adorable. I'm not moaning. He pressed his lips to mine, softly at first then gradually added a little force as if he were letting me feel his presence. He palmed my cheek like he was holding something delicate. I'm sorry, but I just can't when they hold your fate. Yeah, I'm into that. Also, when you pin me against walls. <laughs> <laughs> like I was so precious, he'd never let go. Oh, look what the background behind us is so beautiful. I felt the heat of his lips and leaned further in. I don't have to leave him ever again. That realization made tears pool in my eyes, this time out of relief. The kiss was completely different from the one when we said goodbye. Back then it felt cold and lonely. We're hiding our feelings from each other. But now, 
Riku, exhausted and wearing just a wearing a dirty jumpsuit. Me, my hair a mess from searching from him. From him, for him. All the wooden paint scattered around us. Looking back at it, it was a little funny. No, but this is the true you guys. What we have here and now is the real thing. Perfect, just the way it was. Oh! Ah! Look at the way he looks when he's looking at us. It's so beautiful. Riku leaned in even closer as I tried to catch, catch my breath between kisses. This kind of makes your heart race really fast, huh? His heated breath brushed against my lips as he spoke. Even though you do a lot of kissing scenes in your films and TV shows? You saw those? I have. Although I have to agree with what you said. Yeah. But I was acting then. And this is the real thing. Reality and acting feel completely different. Do you feel embarrassed when it's the real thing? Are you teasing me? Just a little bit. I mean, he is blushing a little. Maybe that's just the shadow. No, I think he's still blushing. I'm not embarrassed or anything like that. But your face is red. Stop it. Don't look at me. But this new side of you is so cute. As a man, being called cute isn't a compliment. I'm not even like this usually. He looked away embarrassed, and my lips naturally curled into a smile. <laughs> but to me, this side of you is the best. Plus, you went out of your way to create this backdrop. It made me love you even more. As I giggled at him, his cheeks turned redder and redder, and he began to pout like he was sulking. You're normally so innocent, too. Huh? You brought this on yourself, Spacey. Quick kiss! Our lips met once more. A little more forceful this time, as if he were putting all of his, all of his feelings into it. I'm not moaning for him, either. Riku brushed my cheeks as he inhaled. My head is all fuzzy. Lack of oxygen. My entire body was throbbing. Girl. I felt ready to collapse, but his heat was so comforting that it was almost addicting. Oh! Riku pressed his lips to mine again. Twice as hard this time. Jeez, Riku! If he did this too much, I wouldn't be able to take it. I can't take it. Uh, wait, Riku! Embarrassed, I glared at him, but he just turned his head to the side, still sulking. That was your fault. You provoked me. It was an unfair tactic. What are you talking about? It's even worse that you're not aware. Aware of what? I'm not really sure what he's pouting about. But it's fine, even if you're unaware. I'll just tease you back whenever you tease me. What do you mean by that? Secret. He chuckled, happily teasing me back. Then he slowly turned back toward me with a serious expression. So, you said my father called you a little while ago. Oh, yes. He said something about work, but he sounded worried about you, too. Eh, I, don't, I don't know if he was that worried. Is that so? And did he say anything rude to you again? Oh, no. If anything, I said way more than I should have. You did? Yep. Riku looked at me, his expression amused. What did you tell my father? I'm curious. That's, um... Okay, perfect time. I was like, good God, if we're going to explain everything we said to his father and all this, like, that was like the perfect place to end the scene after the cute little kiss. And then like, so let's talk about my dad. Well, let's not talk about your dad because he could be my dad too for all she knows. I guess she's given up on that. Not concerned about it. Or doesn't, not even in the back of her mind that there was a point in time where she thought Riku could be her half-brother. Because like, that went out the window. Again, we always knew from the very beginning it wasn't going to be that way. But I'm just saying, she didn't. So... Girl! Got a brother kink, I guess. <laughs> anyway, uh, way over time, so I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.